So let's assume that this magic box that you've built, right, and this way of understanding the linkages between all task-oriented requests not only works and not only expands as broadly as you say it will. You are then saying that your system will be bigger than open AIs because it will be more than half of conversations? I'm saying that to the extent others have been trying to solve task-oriented dialogue, they have walked in a different direction. I would say that they have walked right and we have walked left. And I think that we found that the answer was 100,000 miles left. The most complicated thing we've been working on is how to um, design a foundation model that can be as scalable as an LLM so that if you're a shop in Indonesia or you're a little vitamin uh, um, shop in Spain or you are a small insurer in Berlin, you could just go on and set your agent. But I don't say that it will extrapolate beyond those use cases because I believe that also the conversation about language models and AI is parochial in, in, in how short-sighted it is. If you think about the future and you run it 10 years for it or 100 years for it, do you really think that we're going to look at a scale transformer? I mean, if a transformer is a form of computation, uh, did we at 2018 unlock the secret AI code of the universe that essentially um, is the sauce for AI and now we're just scaling it forward? Or maybe in 10,000 years, AI will be based on physics that we don't even understand right now and we'll have many different approaches. I think that it will have many different species. Listen to the rest of the conversation on the most interesting thing in AI, brought to you by Atlantic Rethink, the creative marketing arm of The Atlantic, in collaboration with PwC, wherever you get your podcasts.